Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com, as well as the Real Illusion Forum. Somebody was asking about how to how to use the Daz makeup in uh, Character Creator Three. So, in in Daz, as a general rule, the makeup comes in as these LIE layers. So there's things like this. So here's here's these makeup things, and when you apply them, you end up with this. Okay, inside of Daz. And then you export this, and what invariably happens is that when it comes into Character Creator, you don't have this makeup, okay? Uh, that's because, and I'm no Daz expert, but apparently there is a, um, um, a layer, a makeup layer, LIE layer, I guess, or something. Anyway, it doesn't get dropped back down to, to, um, to Daz if you do it. So... You've got a couple different options here. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways of doing this. First of all, you can take the makeup itself. And I'm going to assume you have access to a photo editor like Photoshop or whatever. So here's here's makeup that you have. I want to do that. So you have makeup here, these layers. And you'd have to look this up. You'd have to find out where the makeup is, is located. So you can find that out uh, by searching through your Daz content or whatever and try to find, you look for LIE. That's where they usually have these layers. And then you can apply it in your photo editor directly to, let me bring up Photoshop here, directly to the actual uh, map. So for example, I'll move this action layer out of the way. So here we have, this is, this is a Daz map. So I found the Daz face map, and then I go oh. into the LIE map, and then I just take these LIE maps and I drag them over on top of this. And then you get the makeup there and you say, fine, you know. And so now if I save this out as a diffuse layer and then inside of Daz, you go in and you apply the into the diffuse color, now this will correct, correctly come into iClone, okay? And so into iClone, uh, I'm sorry, in the character creator three. So when you, when you then have a, a new character, uh, it will show up with that. And then you can save that out of skin. So you go ahead, and I don't know if you guys know how to do this, but basically you have skin here, so then you would go in here and you would save it out in your custom layers as skin. So that's what I did with this war paint. So I've got this, and you apply all those layers like that. And, uh, and there you go. And so now that you have makeup, you can apply that to any other female character. Okay, that's one way of going. The other way of going is uh, a little more uh, flexible. When, when you do this, when you, you're going to go, so let's say you're, you say, I like this skin, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save the skin. It also saves the color of the skin. So it doesn't just save the makeup itself, but it saves that character's color. So if this, if this female character had been, for example, Oriental, I'm sorry, that's the politically great, Asian, whatever, or if she was black, uh, then obviously that wouldn't work because then this it would not be makeup applied on top of it. It would the actual skin color would replace it. So you get the whole thing. Okay. So there's another way you can go if you wanted to get some overlay makeups. It's a little more at work, but it's not it's not incredibly difficult. What you need to do first is start with the understanding of these makeup maps. And these makeup maps are alpha maps. So in general, when they uh, when they come in. To Photoshop, let's see if I can find one here. Uh, this this map here, let me yes, let me tear, turn off this layer and show you. This is how the layer comes in. So so the maps themselves uh, have a an alpha layer, and there really is nothing behind them. So there's no um, and if we try to apply this, that won't work because we don't really have. A, uh, an ability. It's too bad, and they may change that at some time, but in Character Creator, we don't have the ability to apply a, um, uh, a regular, um, like a, uh, a layer that would, that would respect the alpha. But we do have something called a blend channel, and blend will blend in a layer on top of it, but it uses white as the op opaque, uh, I'm sorry, as the, um, as the translucent color. So what we would have to do is we go into Photoshop, find that makeup that you want, and then we would add another layer, which I've done here. So you can see there's another layer, a white layer behind it. So now we have this whole thing, and then I exported it, which I did. Okay, but you can't drag this directly into Character Creator 3. If I tried to do that, if I tried to actually load up this, this Character Creator, um, that particular makeup, that we just saw. Maybe I'll try dragging in and show you. If I try dragging in that uh, wherever I did with it. <laughs> oh, exports. That's why. Exports. <laughs> I've got so much crap going on here. If I try dragging in this makeup into here, into this overlay layer, 
Uh, the problem is this layer, you can see it's not, it's not correctly uh, aligned. And that's because what happens when you use Transformer is Transformer remaps the diffuse map of uh, DAS to fit their own diffuse map. So you have to do that. So there's no way around that. So you're going to have to go into DAS, and what you would do is you would go here to the diffuse color, and you would go and you would apply that, um, that transparent uh, thingy that I just made that uh, exports thing that one there and so remember it has white where it's supposed to be transported and then the, then the makeup on there and I did that and then you export that bring it inside using transformer and then well, let's do it we'll I'll show you how that works so you can see it that's the war paint overlay and then what we're doing here even though it's going to take a little bit of time uh, we're going to then end up with a, a texture that's mapped properly to this face using the coordinates of inside of CC3. So just so you understand, I'll repeat this while we have a little bit of time here. The, the difference is you can't just drag and drop textures over from DAS because they don't line up properly. We always have to bake the body texture in order to get those textures. So they won't line up with the right facial uh, textures because the two don't map. Transformer is our way of remapping, and that's what it's doing here. It's remapping all of the textures, the body textures, the face textures, and everything, so that they line up with how um, Character Creator 3 uses maps. It's too bad that the maps weren't the same, but you know, uh, iClone has their own mapping and Daz has their mapping, and at least we have a process by which we can, we can remap those two. So what's gonna happen is, when this comes uh, finally finishes up, we're gonna end up with a white map uh, on this face, but it will be mapped correctly. In other words, it's gonna have the makeup applied correctly, and then where the makeup is not should not be applied, it will be um, it will be white. <laughs> Except it it won't be completely, as you'll see. We're gonna we're gonna end up with skin. So there's one more step we have to do here, but we'll we'll get there. Well, in other words, what's happening right now is it's remapping it to the face, and it's putting the makeup in the right place, and it's putting some of that white makeup in. But the rest of the head, the ears and, and some of the eyes and stuff, are still going to be filled in with flesh color. So the one last step we have to do is go through and cut all that stuff out and, and make a white layer. And trust me, I think it's going to be worth it once, once we get through all of this. You're going to go, Mike, this is so much more work. Why didn't I just do that? But remember what I said about skin color and skin textures. If we do it this way, we can then apply the... Uh, the overlay of that makeup to everything. And the good news is, you know, once you do this, you can build up a store or stock of makeups and, and maybe spend an afternoon or something doing this. Here we go. We're going to eventually get here. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, so now, as you can see, we have this, this layer here, but it's got, see, it's got all this other stuff here, which we don't want. So now we got one, one more step. We go here, and we're going to go to, uh, we're going to select this texture, and we're going to save this texture out. Two. I've already done that here. This is like one of those painting shows. So I've saved it out here already. Let's pretend like I've already done that. And then when we're all done with that, I'm going to load this back in. In the meantime, we'll go to Photoshop and we'll go ahead and open up that. Uh, that's not it. Where is it? Uh, 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 let me go to where it is. There it is. So we'll go here and we'll open that up with Photoshop. And then the last step we're going to do is we're going to select all this middle portion of this like that photoshop <laughs> and do it in verse and then we're going to edit and we're going to fill that with white and that's what i have over here fill with white okay so now we got this and now we save this out so now we got a file export do a quick export as png again i've already done this but we'll do it one more time just so you can see yeah it exists already and then now when we've done all this we get through this now we have an overlay that we can go in here to the blend channel and put in here and now it overlays it and so now you can control this with the amount of makeup that you have on that character and now this overlay will work with with any skin color so we're not we're not actually changing the base skin color we're only changing putting that makeup on that character if that makes sense to you hopefully that makes sense and and that can be applied to anybody you know the nice thing about this now is that now we have um you know this overlay which which won't even hurt skin so for example if we take aldo we load in this old guy and and the old guy has old skin but again this overlay is going to um, be okay it's going to respect the wrinkles and the crap on here 
so we could still do this and then we can have him have this makeup which really looks disturbing but uh <laughs> hopefully that that makes sense to you so so there's uh, there's two ways that you can get the makeup from daz into here and as always, what I tell you is if there's any particular uh, problem or thing that you're having with Daz, let me know specifically. I'll be glad to help you to the best of my ability, and we'll see you on the forums.